Hey all you lovely Stampistas. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, um, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Alright, let's jump right into it. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different than normal. A lot of the um, ladies in my stamping group have been asking for me to do a pawn mani so they know how to do it. So that is what I'm going to do today. Also, this is a collab with April Stevens. Um, April with a sparkle is what I think her Instagram name is. Um, she is doing a pond mani as well. Please go, I will put her link to her video down below. Please go show her some love. And she does some beautiful nail artwork. Um, I absolutely love watching her do her thing on that. She has some review videos and stuff, but that's, to me, that's her specialty, is doing the nail art. So, go show her some love. And the things that you're going to need is, normally, if you're going to wear it for a while, you'll need a base coat. And normally, what I would use is my Orly Nutri uh, Nail Trition um, first, and then I put a coat of the Suck On Blue over it. But because I'm not going to wear this mani for a long period of time, I don't think anyway, I'm going to use my peel-off base coat, which I am using the Unt peel-off base coat. Then you also need your choice of sheer polish, and I'm using the Color Club um, Flush Sheer Polish. And I'm using my Hit the Bottle White, which is the Snowed In. And then for a top coat, I'm using the Northern Lights um, Silver Top Coat. And for my plate and stamper, for the stamper, I'm going to be using my Fabio Nails Clear Stamp Jumbo Stamper. For my scraper, I'm going to be using my GPS, uh, my GP Stamping Scraper. And then for my plate, I am going to be using my GP Stamping Number 9. And I'm going to be using this image right here. Alright, so let's jump right into it then. So this is what it's going to look like when I'm done. I did go ahead and do them like I always do. Alright, so let's move all this to the side. The first thing you're going to want to do is put a layer of um, your base coat which like I said I'm using this and I've already placed it onto my nail even though you can't tell the next thing you're gonna do is um, some people put white first and some people don't I'm not going to um, the white just makes it pop a little bit more on the first um, coat so the first thing we're gonna do is let's zoom in And we're going to put a layer of the Color Club Sheer Polish. And it has to be sheer polish, by the way. Okay, and then we will let this dry. Alright, next we will be taking our plate and our selected image. Okay, and then we'll be placing it where we want it. And I just have um, a little bit of acetone right here to the side to kind of help with the cleanup. And I just use like a makeup brush. All right. Now. Let's set that to the side for a second. 
And now that we've done our stamping over it, we are going to do another layer of the Color Club Sheer Polish. And these don't have to be thick layers. Okay. Okay, once it's dry, the second um, coating, then you want to get your stamping polish and your plate and everything again. And also something I meant to tell y'all, um, make sure that you use like a light polish because I tried using black for my first ever Pond Manny and it did not come out right. So, all right. So now I'm just going to kind of put this opposite to that one because I want it kind of overlapping. And... Once again, just do a little clean up. Okay, once you've done that clean up, you'll come back with your sheer polish again. Let's zoom in. Okay. Do another coat. Okay. All right, now that we have let that dry, we're gonna come back in with our stamping plate and our polish and stuff and do one more set of flowers. Okay, and I'm just gonna kinda put these at the top Like that right there. And once again, come in with the brush, do a little clean up. All right. And I only did three, um, three sets of stamping on this one and we're going to come in and do another layer of the sheer polish oh too much It can be fixed though. It ain't dried. All right, now we're gonna let this dry. All right, now I didn't, I don't ever let my uh, manicures fully dry when I'm doing, when I'm getting ready to put my top coat on. Only because the top coat, um, especially on like a fast drying top coat, is supposed to um, help, it's supposed to assist your polish in drying faster. And, like, a lot of people complain that, like, the, um, the Seche Vite will, uh, cause their image, their polish to shrink up or lift up and stuff like that. And it's usually because they put it on when the polish was completely dry. 
and it it doesn't do that when you put it on when it's still just a little bit wet not a lot but a little bit so i'm going to finish this mani up with this northern lights um silver um top coat you can use any top coat you'd like on yours um but i'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to mine so let's zoom in and with the northern lights um polish you got to shake it really really well okay and just make sure you cap off your ends so your polish will last longer and we're done if you need to do cleanup do that but that's what the Manny looks like. Alright, if you like this video, please, like I said, hit that like button. Uh, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And go show April some love on her channel and let her know I sent you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See y'all in the next one.